So this is the video where I decide to be mean to you and give you an equation for a circle that's not in center radius form. But we can get it in center radius form, and it's all about completing the square. But before we complete the square, we need to rearrange some terms first. So the 45, just like we were completing the square, is going to go to the other side. And then I'm going to rearrange my terms so that I have my x's together, and then I have my y's together. So when I rearrange, that's going to be x squared plus 12x. I'm going to leave some space here like I've always done. And then I have y squared, that's plus 10y. And I'm going to leave a gap for that guy as well. And I'm going to move that 45 to the other side so it becomes a negative 45, like that. All right, so again, I just rearranged my x's to put them together, put the y's together, make sure you pay attention to your signs, and now we're going to complete the square. So that means I'm expecting to have something that looks like this, x with a square, and I'm also going to complete the square for y, so it's going to be y something squared, and I'm going to have a number on the other side. So let's look at the x's, right? To complete this square, I'm going to divide this guy by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, so put in plus 6, and then I square that 6 to get 36. So this is how we were completing the square earlier this semester. Divide 12 by 2, and then square that number. And you're going to do something very similar for the y's. Do half of the 10, so that comes in here as a 5, positive 5. Square the 5, and that's plus 25. But now there's something that we're missing when we're completing the square. I can't just add 36 over here. I must also add 36 to the right side. Same thing for the 25. I can't just add 25 on the left. It creates imbalance unless I also add 25 to the right side like that. All right, so now we just need to combine everything. So we have negative 45, and these guys right here give me 61. So negative 45 and 61 will give me 16. All right. And now we have this in center radius form. So let's find the center. So the center is going to be the ordered pair. Now remember how we were doing this before. You take the opposite of what you see here, so it's going to be negative 6 the opposite of this guy which is going to be negative 5 and then we we identify the radius so this guy right here is supposed to be radius squared so r squared equals 16 which then means that r equals 4 so there we have it now let's plot this let's graph this and see what we get all right, so negative 6, negative 5 is down here. We have a radius of 4, so in all four directions, we're going to go 4 units. So that's up 4, down 4, 1, 2, 3 to the right 4, and 1, 2, 3, left 4 is just a little bit off the grid. But we can still make it work. And now we graph our circle. Well, again, we do our best to graph our circle, right? So it should look something kind of like that. All right, well, let's do another example. So down here, I have x squared plus y squared minus 16x plus 4y plus 67 equals 0. So just like we did on the last problem, let's rearrange. So when I rearrange we get x squared minus 16x and since we know we're going to complete the square we're going to put a little gap right here and then we've got plus y squared plus 4y and create another gap and we move that constant to the other side to make that negative 67 alright now we go to complete the square I know I'm supposed to have something with 
an x and a square. And I'm supposed to have y with a square. And on the right side, it's going to be some constant, which is going to lead me to my radius. All right, so complete the square. Half of negative 16 is negative 8. And 8 squared is 64. So I was missing a 64 right here. And again, remember to maintain balance. If you add 64 here, you need to add 64 to the other side, like that. And now we complete the square for the y. So half of 4 is 2, so plus 2. And 2 squared is 4, so that becomes plus 4. Right? Divide by 2 and square it, and then add 4 over here. So when I combine all of this, this gives me 68. So negative 67 plus 68 is 1. We complete the square to put it in center radius form. And now we can clearly identify the center. The center, the opposite of this guy, so it's going to be positive 8. And the opposite of positive 2, so that makes that negative 2. And my radius. So according to this, r squared is 1, which means that r is, well, the square root of 1 is 1. All right, so my center is 8, negative 2, with a radius of 1. So I'm just going to go up, down, left, and right, one unit. And there's my circle. Just a little guy like that. All right, so let's see if things get maybe a little bit more challenging, and let's try to ask similar questions in a slightly different way.